Hey, good morning everybody. Today is Thursday, September 15th, 2016. My name is Cliff Backus and this is your pushbuttonstocktrading.com daily video market review. Let's get started by taking a quick look at the NASDAQ composite this morning, but before we do that, markets closed mixed in lighter trade yesterday. Both the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 held significant support. The S&P closed one and a quarter points or 0.06% lower at 21.25, holding support in the 21.25 area. According to our count, the S&P has six distribution days in the past month, but importantly, that distribution is starting to cluster around the right side of the chart with bearish implications. NASDAQ tested resistance in the 51.89 area and supported its 50-day moving average before closing up 18.52 points, or 0.36%, at 51.73. According to our account, the NASDAQ has four distribution days in the past month. Our market timing model is on a don't buy signal. A don't buy signal indicates that we should have our stops at their tightest levels and we shouldn't be adding positions at this point. According to Investors.com, the market's in uptrend under pressure with a distribution count of five days on the NASDAQ and seven for the S&P 500. The S&P lost a distribution day due to age yesterday. Declining issues bettered advancers yesterday. New lows bettered new highs for the third day in a row, a bearish development. Small capitalization stocks bettered large and continued to outperform on a 10-day moving average basis. The bulls prefer to see small caps outperform. The market's sending out all kinds of mixed signals recently. In light of yesterday's mixed performance, the jury is still out on the market. That noted, leading stocks such as network security firm Gigamon, G-I-M-O, and glaucoma relief device maker Glaucos, GKOS are acting bullishly. When market leaders act well, often the market follows. For now, however, we remain on a don't buy signal. Traders should have their stops at their tightest levels and shouldn't be adding to positions. Okay, let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. NASDAQ was up 18.52 points yesterday or 0.36%. Note that it found resistance here in the 51.89 area and supported its 50-day moving average, which we show here in red. We closed at 51.73. Trading volume was below the prior day. For you followers of William O'Neill, we are in an uptrend under pressure. We've been in an uptrend since June 30th. We currently have four distribution days, which isn't really a lot of distribution, but we are starting to see a little bit of clustering on the right side of the chart, which is a little bit of a concern. Our market timing model is on a don't buy signal, and right now the market appears to be bracketed by support at its 50-day moving average and resistance up here in the 51.89 area. Let's see what the S&P 500 is up to. S&P yesterday was down 1.25 points or 0.06 percent. We closed at 21.25, held support down here in the 21.25 area. Yesterday trading volume was below the prior day we are in an uptrend under pressure on the S&P. We have a lot of distribution on the S&P. We have seven distribution days, I'm sorry, six distribution days in the past month. But notably, we're starting to see a lot of clustering on the right side of the chart. That's a concern. Our market timing model is on a don't buy signal and the S&P is bracketed by support down here in the 2125 area and minor resistance right here in the 2150 range. Okay, we currently hold four position trades after taking a small loss yesterday in EW. We bought Edwards Life Sciences at 117.46 on the breakout from this three weeks tight pattern. It never really did much of anything and so yesterday 
we took a very small loss selling the stock at the open at 114.64. We currently hold Alibaba, B-A-B-A, -A, which we bought on the breakout from this first stage cup with handle base when it gapped up on earnings news. Stock is acting well here. Next we have ACIA. We bought ACIA when it broke out of this IPO base. We actually broke out of the IPO base, fell back into that base, and then when we crossed above that pivot point in the 4810 area, we bought the stock back. Stock right now is trading at 105.06. Notice how it's respecting support at its 21 day moving average. A break below that 21 day moving average would probably be a concern. We continue to hold Zimmer Bio. We paid 123.43 for Zimmer. It's actually undercut that price. We should probably get rid of the stock, but it hasn't actually triggered a stop at this point. And finally, in our position trades, we bought GKOS yesterday. Typically, we don't want to buy stocks in a when our market timing models on a don't buy signal, but I really like Glaucos. It broke out of this double bottom base in the 3427 area. Note, a double bottom puts in a low, puts in an intermediate high, and then puts in a lower low. That intermediate high becomes the buy point or the pivot point for the stock. Yesterday we broke above that pivot point on very heavy trading volume. And so we bought GKOS at 34.27. Final note with our position trades, due to the don't buy signal generated by our market timing model, we've adjusted stops on all of our remaining positions to their tightest levels. As always in position trading, as in any trading, preservation of capital is our number one priority. Let's take a look at our swing trading positions. Our swing timing model is trending positive. We currently hold three swing trades, EDU, which we bought on the bounce from this 50-day moving average. SUPN, ditto, we bought on the bounce from the 50-day moving average. And OLED, which we bought on the bounce from the 200-day moving average. We don't show the 200-day moving average. Let's put a 200-day moving average in here. And you can see that we bounced from the 200-day moving average. The stock hasn't done much since that happened, but it still hasn't undercut the 200-day, and so we'll continue to hold on to it for now. For more information on swing trading or position trading, please contact me. My contact information is on the home page. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks mentioned today or any of our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or make an appointment. Come by the office, see what we're up to. Contact information is on the home page. Please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push Button Stock Trading Video Market Review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a Senior Vice President of Investments, Technical Analyst, Portfolio Manager, and Partner with the investment firm of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video Market Review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following.
The analysis calculations and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions Ohanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. Ohanison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources, except where otherwise noted, and data we believe to be reliable. Ohanison Liqueurs, Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries, and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push button stock trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push button stock trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push button stock trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of push button stock trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of Push Button Stock Trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers, but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.